Okay, so we have our home system all decked out with HDMI cables, with picture-perfect quality on the screen, and jaw-dropping surround sound. But HDMI's digitalness posed a problem for the entertainment industry. It would, technically, let anybody make professional-quality bootlegs of movies or TV shows without having to have any special hardware or software. To the rescue came the intellectual property posse, a.k.a. Intel and HDMI. They developed HDCP, which stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. You could describe it as a, an encryption handshake between your Blu-ray player and your TV that permits transparent delivery of copyrighted audio and video, but discourages you from opening up your own sidewalk stand selling movies. For that, you have to go to China. Um, here's, here's more on the subject. <laughs> Content providers require assurance that high-value digital content is adequately protected in order to offer consumers more choices and opportunities to enjoy that content. High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, or HDCP, is an essential link in that chain of protection and manufacturers have widely adopted it as an integral part of entertainment systems. Over the years, a variety of rights management technologies and standards have been developed to protect all types and delivery methods of digital entertainment content. Content that is streamed or downloaded across the internet, physical media such as Blu-ray discs or DVDs, or television broadcasts on cable and satellite all require different technology solutions to meet their respective needs. Intel has shipped over 8 billion HDCP keys that have been integrated into billions of devices worldwide. And Intel is excited that HDCP has and will continue to meet content providers and manufacturers' needs well into the future. Tonight, we're going to honor Intel for HDCP. And accepting the award is the leader of that IP posse, the president of Digital Content Protection, LLC, from the guy from the video, Stephen Ballow. Uh, such an honor to receive this prestigious uh, award on behalf of Intel Corporation. Uh, I do have to say also thank you very much to the Academy for whoever put this incredible event together. I mean, especially the fact that you set Mendy Kaling at our table, Stephen Colbert. I'm sure you at the other tables have similar people at your table and can't wait to meet them all, right? No, anyway. So when you receive uh, an award like this, it's a very good time to look back at uh, you know, all the hard work that went into it. So at the very beginning, um, we had visionaries uh, like Dr. Brendan Traw, who you saw on the, uh, on the screen there, who uh, had the vision of bringing high-value entertainment content into the PC and the digital world, and uh, he's kind of the inventor of that stuff. But then there's lots of other people there. Jeff Lawrence, who's the chief uh, uh, lawyer that started with the HTCP to put this, the structures together. Michael Ripley, who is one of the, the key architects of, of pioneering work that sets the standards to allow implementation across a myriad of devices. Um, you've got Scott Janis, who did the first implementations on Intel Silicon. Uh, there's just a lot of different people that have contributed multiple uh, uh, things to the technology. Um, we had, of course, I cannot forget to mention Priya Devanand, who is our current chief technology um, uh, officer, if you will, of the technology, who's taken HDCP from what it began in the early or uh, late uh, early 2000s um, to bring it into the future today, and now it's across many different interfaces, not just uh, HDMI, but uh, DisplayPort, you name it. If, if there's a digital interface on it, it's got HDCP. So again, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> 